Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Other Than an Education, the English Council, and you are on phase three. You know that we are talking about basic grammar rules in English, and I really find it so delightful to read all your comments on YouTube. Thank you so much. Because you know that you can watch our lessons on YouTube if you miss any of our episodes. Because I know that you watch these basic grammar rules. Even though these are basics, uh, there are things that we need to really learn when it comes to grammar. Because we are in a journey of making ourselves accurate. So it's very important to know the little things. Because little things really matter. Uh, in the journey of uh, building your fluency. So, um, yes, we were talking about present progressive tense last week was all about I am working, you are working, uh, he is listening, she is dancing, he is standing, they are playing and we are talking, right? So, um, we know that we can use the sentence structure to talk about Activity is happening now. You see something happening now and you use this tense to talk about that action. And you know that you use the same structure to talk about activities happening around now. These days, temporary, it doesn't have to really take place the moment you are talking, but it happens these days. So you use the tense to talk about the same action. And now you know that you can kill two birds with one stone. It was all about talking about future using present progressive tense which is a bonus when you learn the tense because you only have to master one formation that is formation is i am we are they are verb ing that is the formation how you place your words and how you order your verbs um and then you know that learning this tense will definitely let you use it in the future and it's a special future instance that you need to consider, which is about arranged actions, planned things in your life. It's not simply a decision, but yes, you've made a decision to do it. And uh, what you have decided, you have again made plans and arranged things to uh, achieve what you have planned right okay so i gave you these questions yesterday and i told you that we are going to answer these questions uh today right what are you doing this evening now look at these questions right you will see the basic question that you learned in present progressive tense question then question words what what what, where, when? Api questioning gana minimum padma karana namutita kali manghito api make it api to then. Me question words halalay under behani question words kela kiani. You know that what, when, why, where, how, how often, who, whom, with whom. Oyagiti and a mani question words meva tika api to halalay under behai prashna kahana nang api kene king api to meva then again ni mukada. Are you a can you be helping verb? Look at, look at the screen. If you are starting a question with a helping verb, now you know that these are helping verbs. Helping verbs can have a grammar structure. Grammar structure ka hariyata geni ani. Can have a verb by ing ka helli helli nei ne. I working ke lakhi ani beha. Working ka helli helli ne. Na ya wala gan helping verb ka dena. We call it the auxiliary verb. And that helping verb thamai yoya is se ka ya ka ya me ka. Some other tenses will formation a the over helping verb set a cut the inner, right? It is me helping verb picking up a patangani, the Ugodano, a subject like a panelist, Sir Hatenava, helping verb pick a prashna kahana panadi. Look at the screen. It got a me helping verb picking a have worth prashni. Are you doing this evening? Okay, doing key and a cup of monahari verb pick up down at technica. Tikak. Are you reading this evening? Are you reading this evening? Kila ka already waging have what? E oya kian ne? Yes, hari no hari. Tamay meka da enna tin uttare. Are you reading this evening? So you would say me question ne kati tarak nang yes or no? Yes, I am reading. No, I am not reading. Oya dekeng ka. Oya ta ha no nang mukat to oya kia wan ne me ha adha havas. Right, look at the screen. Then you add mokak the ki and a question word dekatamai what? 
उत्तरेंटिंग You can say, look at the screen. What are you reading this evening? You can go for an answer like, um, I'm reading, I'm reading, Gamperalia. Okay, let me write it in English. Gamperalia, Gamperalia, Pemperalia. Right. Okay. So I am reading Gamperalia. This evening, you can say this evening. Then may this evening, ki ane ka tham ay villa thene. Aada hawasa te thamai onna mandan gam peraliye ki evane ani. So I am reading gam peraliye this evening. Look at the screen. Okay. So I am reading onna apni structure ka dhamma. Ma, Meka mama dhang ki evane mada ne hai. Mama ki evane hawasa. What am I reading? Gam peraliye here. I am answering my what word. I am asking answering my what question. Here you have your future term. That me my. Samane, how are you arguing? I have what? What are you reading this evening? You won't say I'm reading Gamperalia this evening. You won't give a full answer like that. You will simply simply say Gamperalia. That's it. What? Kya lahan ekda pi uttare dena. But as you are practicing this tense, if you like to practice the full answer, giving the full answer, you can talk about an arranged thing in your life uh, while answering to these questions. But always remember that question term. Mekara what te kakti na? Where ka ke? What te nikan? Apni uttare denni. एक फुल सेंटेंस के आप उत्तर दीला प्राक्टिस करना पुलवा राइट ओके लुक द स्क्रीन लुक द सेकंड क्वेश्चन नाउ यू हैव व्हाट इज योर प्लान फॉर नेक्स्ट वीक व्हाट इज योर प्लान फॉर नेक्स्ट वीक सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट योर अरेंज एक्शन सो व्हाट इज योर प्लान फॉर नेक्स्ट वीक सो आई एम गोइंग लुक द स्क्रीन I am going to my aunt's. मगे आंटी की किधर थी आना की ये क्या किया ना I am going. So I have arranged the uh, what I need to do before going there. So I have a plan. I've decided to go there, and I have arranged things to go there. So I am going to my aunt's. I am. You can say I am also. You know that the contracted form. I'm going. It's okay. Monday, me plan. Kala thi ene ka gana ekhi ani. Next one. What is she doing tomorrow? What is she doing tomorrow? Hetta ya munad karan ne. Then make a plan. Kali varai. So what is she doing tomorrow? Um, uh, tomorrow she is. She is. Um. She is dancing. With her teacher tomorrow, she is dancing with her teacher. Yeah, dance again. Ek na ne de gan la me apke bitha. Dance again, dance again. Ek gan apki haan ekla aaya na plan kali varai den dance ke teacher tak karan. So what is she doing tomorrow? I think she is dancing with her teacher tomorrow. She is dancing with. She is dancing. Look at the screen. Where is he going next month? Where is he going next month? Next month, future. Where is he going next month? He is going to Candy. Now let's say he has made all the plans to visit Candy. So you say he is going to Candy with his friends next month. He is going to Candy with friends next month. Then what are you going to plan? Ha huh. he is going to candy kela kiwoga mamme den wenawa ne den wenawa kiyana kene theruma ne meekara den next month daala thiyenne da oyara therum ganna puluwang wenna one anith maase meya yaage aaluwata ka candy yana right next one the final question when are they arriving in colombo everything is planned when are they arriving in colombo they are arriving In Colombo on 
the 23rd. They're arriving in Colombo on the 23rd. Ego lo kolambat enne. Now everything is planned, right? Arranged. They know how they're going to get back to Colombo and the date is fixed. Uh, they know what they are bringing, they know with whom they are coming and they are arriving on the 23rd. Everything is arranged. They are arriving on the 23rd. Right? So you see, arranged things. Fix. Make a venamaikila sure. Future plans. It doesn't have to be the near future, even it can be distant future. Right? Pavichikarana Puluan. Present continuous tense. Right, okay, let's move on. Now, we are going to take a summary before we uh, start with our um, future constructions because we are going to talk about the going to structure, the will structure, um, and talk about future this week. So, before that, let's look at a summary of present continuous tense, right? So, you know that present continuous tense is all about. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. These are the subjects we have in English. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. And we have the positive, we have the negative, we have the question form of any tense right let's look at a sum look at a summary before we uh, move on to the next lesson i'll see you after this break and then let's uh, go through the summary and we can start the new lesson about the future Welcome after the break and you are with Adha Therana Education, the English Council and we are talking about the summary of present continuous tense because this is a very interesting tense and of course the easiest of all. Sometimes we get really confused with the formation so I thought that it would be really important to summarize it again before we uh, move into the new lesson which is the future tense. So, um, yes, it's about the formation because knowing uh, the tense, it means that you need to know the formation, how to form it and then um, the usage, right? Look at the screen. So, uh, formation is very important to know that you have helping verbs like am, are and is. So, if you take the positive structure, let's construct the positive structure with me. I am working. So, as it is continuous tense, you have the ing of the verb. So, I am working, we are working, they are working, he is working, she is working, it is working. And then in the negative, you have I am not. I am not working. We, you, they, me, villa, anisa, I can contract it. We are not working, you are not working, they are not working, and he, she, it, you have, isn't, isn't, and you have the verb ing. This is the structure. And then question, what do you do? Let's say I have the positive sentence, the positive statement of the tense, I am working. What you do in a question is you take the helping verb to the front and you ask the question, am I working? Similarly, for I, we, you, for we, you, they, you have are coming to the beginning and are you, are we, are they working? Here you go, you have the question. Helping verb begin to start. And then you have is, he, she, it working. You have the question. Very easy. So this helping verb is very important. The mistake we make, it's a common mistake. 
uh, that we make when we are using this tense, we omit this helping verb. Uh, so it can, uh, you won't feel it, right? You just omit it and you don't use the helping verb there in the construction. You say I working, you working, they working. Um, and uh, I not working, you not working, he is he not working. Ara e saga aika am ek hala na. E hala ne ka common problem ek akela thi na. Hi dekha hala na tuwa inne me formation ke chota khata to puru karega. Right? Okay. Let's move on. Uh, present continuous summary and uh, when do you use it? When to use it? So the first usage is you talk about actions which are happening now. Right, let's say now some action is taking place. May we have a guess what a yam action a peno peno you use this uh, tense, and then secondly, right, something is happening now, something is happening now. So, if you miss any of our lessons, uh, you can watch us on YouTube, uh, other than education, the English Council. And uh, the playlist is English Council Phase 3. You can watch uh, these missed episodes on TV, on YouTube. And you can, of course, send us some comments as well and tell uh, what you think about the program. And um, if you have any questions, just send us. I try to teach them in the lesson. Right, okay. And then as we talk about now here, we talk about actions which are happening these days, not around now so it's like these days these actions are happening now some actions are happening now for example when you say i am a reading i am reading a novel these days when you say something like this right when you say something like this i am reading a novel these days these days at the time of speaking you really don't have to like you're not reading it at the time of speaking you're reading it these days so you say i'm reading a novel these days or i'm learning about um, learning about something um, uh, these days, right? Uh, first usage which is temporary, right? Which is temporary. So, um, and then finally, we were talking about present continuous tense in the future so you have the timeline here now and you're talking about actions happening here which is the future and this future is very special because you are talking about arranged future may when you a plans of koma hadala iverai kiana again plans hadala vada is it the when it right in then Kiana eka mean mean in eka tiagena. Oya pavichikarana me ten seka. I am going there tomorrow. So the time word is tomorrow. Now at the time of speaking, Kiana eka gavin the Vatmetana tomorrow, Kiana eka. Me katakarana vilavi ho me vartamani di Kiana eka kohevat neti in it tomorrow, which is hit or next month, next year. So I am going there. I am going there is present continuous tense. Now we kakne me future ke hai bhai. Wo aage plan ko mahadale varai ek hitta siddha ven. Unno tandi api pavichikaran wa present continuous tense. And then in the summary we were talking about this a lot. Simple present or present continuous tense. Which one to pick? Kya la pika ta kara? Idhar make mama ki wo pick karan nti ena lazy makrame kai. Simple present ki ani repeatedly something is happening, which is ara api adverbs of frequency. If some action is happening always or sometimes, ani ka me wage vachana. E wage ma thava pika ta kala ara every day, every week. E wage vachana apu gama. Something is happening repeatedly. Okay, if something happens repeatedly and if it is true. All the time, can he permanent deva, right? In other terms, these actions are kind of permanent, permanent. Ki ena deva lolta 
අපි පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ මොකද්ද I read books Present continuous කියලා කියන්නේ ඉස්සලා මම usages ටික ගෙන ආවා I am reading books I am reading books have I make the අපිට time words ටිකක් එනවා now at the moment these days me wage time word tikak eno me time word hari important so we were talking about this time words a lot we did a lot of activities to practice this time words meka hondata oluwata ganna right etakota me time words thamai ape oluwa duwanne tense ekata neme oluwa duwanne a den present continuous use karanna one a den simple present ehema oluwa duwanne kawada awath ka gewa ehema duwanna nan eka ne mada neka tikak aul mat na but i mean it's very difficult i also had a student in my class whenever he gets a topic right whenever he gets a topic he would think of the tense that he needs to use he needed to use right so uh, he was thinking about uh, the tense name that he needs to use right uh, he needed to use so let's say i ask a question like what did you do yesterday so he would be like okay did you do did simple past so i need to use simple past now simple past i ate we ate ah, okay so i need to use this structure i ate rice yesterday oy vidiyata yanakota tikak velawat gihilla e wageme tikak amaru ne da connection ekak hadanne ekata wada kochchara lesi da what did you eat yesterday yesterday ah yesterday yesterday i ate eka taggala yesterday kiwa gaman ah yesterday kiyana i ate structure ekak එහෙම ගියාම ලේසි නැත්නම් සිම්පල් පාස්ට් ද හිතන්න ඕනේ පාස්ට් කන්ටිනුවස් ද හිතන්න ඕහොම මොකද ඒක බර වැඩි ඒ හින්දා අපි බර වැඩි කරගෙන තියෙන අපිමයි සෝ දිස් ද ටයිම් යු ටේක් ටු ගිව් ඇන් ආන්සර් ඉස් ඔල්සෝ අ පොයින්ට් දැට් යු චෙක් යුවර් ෆ්ලුවන්සි යු නෝ ඉන් ඇන් ඉන්ටර්නැෂනල් එක්සෑම් ඉෆ් යු හෙසිටේට් ටු හෙසිටේට් ටු ස්පීක් ස්පෙෂලි ඉන් ද මිඩල් ඔෆ් ඉන් ද මිඩල් ඔෆ් යුවර් ආන්සර් හරි ඉතින් පටන් ගන්න ගොඩාක් වෙලාව ගන්නවා නම් එක්සෑම් එක මේ ෆේල් ලයික් ඕකේ This person is taking a lot of times, which means this one is not that fluent. May I teach you English? Behave again, eh? The mukadha may I teach you vela again? No, I can't. Because I have hit the hit the inna. Apni yar make a make a kaadha ma make a simple past daan or a simple past ke lage ani structure ka make a positive make a na negative make. Oh, mum hit the hit the inna. Because apni vela away ano ma daan ne mana to. Ek ing penna ma apni teach you fluent na hai ke lage hinda. But freely kaata karan the me time words will tolu again each other. Thaggala ra construct karan na lazy ya thiye no. right okay so it was about that and then future application i discuss and from tomorrow onwards we are going to talk about the future application of uh tenses right so yes let's talk about future because we finished the uh, in the future and we are going to talk about future from tomorrow it's not going to be a regular lesson because i'm going to bring in few examples and activities that you can really practice and learn about the tense properly uh, and this is one of those methods one of those effective methods to learn tenses so yes i'll see you tomorrow have a good day